Everybody good? All right. All right, guys. Welcome to episode 159 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, and today we have a very special guest. We got fucking Dan in the building, guys. What's Round up, of applause to Dan. He's here with us. We're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go down in the description, check him out. He got some fucking music, man. Some fire, and uh, yeah, man. We're back with another one. How y'all feeling today, boys? How y'all feeling? I'm feeling great. Appreciate y'all bringing me out. For yeah, sure, man. man. For sure. Of course, Round of applause bro. to you, bro, for coming out, showing up on time, showing the love. You know what <laughs> yeah. I'm saying? We didn't have to ask you twice. You just showed love off the rib. So. Of course. Man, he, definitely he asked it. me twice, man. He was fucking... <laughs> 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 Actually. Yeah, bro. That's dope, man. That's yeah, dope. Bro. And then we ended up meeting up at uh, that event. That was pretty cool. I didn't even know you were performing there, to be honest with you. Right. Bro. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just popping up because ABEC invited me. He's like, hey, you know, there's a couple of my friends, you know, that are performing. I didn't know it was you. Yeah, true. Yeah, I didn't even look at the flyer. I, I mean, I did. I just looked at the address. <laughs> didn't look at the flyer. <laughs> we just showed up. <laughs> like, <"All> right. <laughs> yeah, bro. So, but it was a good time, man. You did really, really good. Appreciate I was just it. telling you earlier, man. Like, bro, that takes balls to just get on stage and do, you know, do what you do. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, round of applause. And like we said, man, when your DJ was having the little malfunction, the way you handled the crowd, bro. Round of applause, because that Thanks, shit, man. it's not Appreciate easy it. to do, bro. Like, it's not easy to do. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up, though. <laughs> But okay. yeah, man, we got you in the building and shit, and um, let, let's start from the beginning, man. Like, where are you from? How'd you grow up? You know what I'm saying? All right. Um, so my stage name is Simply Dan with a C. Just want to clarify that off the rip. Simply Dan. <laughs> yeah. Simply Dan with a C. We'll put um, it right here in the description. Um, so I grew up in Orlando, Florida. I was born in Miami. Uh, young age, my parents decided they want to move over here, probably Disneyland Universal kind of deal. <laughs> right. Yeah. Moved over here, and I've been here in the same spot for the last, what, like 20 some years. Yeah. Okay. That's and, dope. Uh, man. Yeah. So I've been in Orlando, and then I just recently just started making music. That's, it happened in 2020, in the middle of the pandemic. I really? was just like, fuck this. I hate what I'm doing. I'm going to make music for a living. Wow. Yo, that's, that's fucking a, admirable. That's I'm over here ball. thinking, I'm like, yo, who is your fucking, who were you rapping to when you were growing up and shit? It's like, yeah. you just started making music. Yeah. That's amazing, bro. Yeah. So it was actually my homeboy. He was like, I want to be a rapper and be, this was my best friend. So I was just like, yeah, I'll support your dream, whatever, fuel into him. And that's then, a real friend, by the way, guys. That's <laughs> a real fucking friend. I try to be, try to be. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, so we were rapping and shit, and then all my boys were like, damn, Dan, you're getting pretty like nice with this real quick. So then I was like, thought about it that one day, and then after that, I was just like, fuck this. And then, like I said, during my day job one time, I was just like, I had enough. I had enough. Yeah. I'm just going to go make music. And damn. I haven't looked back since, man. I just that's dope admirable. head first, and I've been at it. On that's, the grind. That's what's up, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's admirable, bro. He got his own little studio, bro, like his own little... <laughs> Like, bro, it's fucking man, like I a love hit. The studio, yeah, bro. <laughs> I want to go, man. That's just fucking dope as fuck, bro. He be talking about some shit on TikTok. He's like, man, have you ever, man, you know, so and so? And then next thing you know, he's fucking, he just pulls a book and he fucking snaps his fingers and he fucking, the whole shit opens and it's like a whole dungeon. <laughs> You know so that's, that's the ice house. Yeah, bro. It. You bring that's some fucking. Dope. You bring some holes in that bitch, man. You be fucking Listen. chilling. You know. <laughs> you pull a book on a bitch. I'm, yeah, t- man. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. You got. You got. You got kids. Well, what else can he do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. You got kids. You got a family. You got a wife. No, no. Thank God. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God, no, not yet. Yeah, At least bro. not that I know of, so. Yeah, just for real. <laughs> nah, yeah, for real. You take your time with that shit, bro. Like, yeah. you got to. You got to be smart about that shit. Yeah, for, for sure, sure, bro. Kids for are expensive. Sure. My boy uh, had a kid on, obviously, on accident, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like most of us were. Yeah. Most of us were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Little kid. laughs> uh, but yeah, no, dude, he, I've seen his life change real quick, real quick. But it's yeah. cool, it's cool. I mean, it's having a little kid, like, it's a little mini you. I guess it's dope. I mean, my yeah. little nephew, man, I love him. The it's a lot yeah. of responsibility. It's a lot of expenses, bro. And it's just sure. your life, like, that's why a lot of our parents, their dreams were put on the back burner, bro, because of Facts. us, man. And it's yeah. not nothing, like, you know, it's just what you have to do as a parent. You right. know what I mean? But if you're at the age, like, right now, none of us have kids. We're, you know what I'm saying, in our 20s fucking grinding, like, this is yeah. the time to grind, bro, and set yourself up. You know For what I'm sure. saying? I've always 100%. thought that way. 
100%. Nah, but that's dope, man. So who is it that you, like, grew up listening to? You know what I'm saying? Like, um, what'd you grow up listening to? So, so, I mean, I grew up first on, like, rock, punk rock, mm. alternative rock, Blink-182, Sun 41, Three Days Grace kind of deal. Hell yeah. And then that that's transition dope. to Eminem. I remember my first CD was uh, Eminem. I forgot what, I think it was the first one with the red curtain, you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. I forgot the name. I used yeah. to listen to that on my Walkman, going to wow. sleep. Which is kind of weird. People yeah. tell me, like, why are you listening to that? Go to sleep. Listen to Stan and shit. Like, yeah. So I'm Stan. Yeah. yeah, this is great music. I'm going to sleep. Yeah, it bro. probably fucked me up, dude. I was yeah, like, so yeah. consciously, you, bro, you turned a couple screws there. Yeah, bro. You fucking turn a couple switches on. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, bro. Fucking, that's what's up, man. Yeah, I love making music, man. I love the process. I love the vibe. For sure. It's all about the vibes, bro. All about 100%, the vibes. 100%. Yeah, 100% bro. About so, so what happened on the stage um, that night when we went on? You were fucking the guy, the DJ fucked up or something <laughs> like that? I have a theory what happened, yeah. but I don't know. So I think the the bass was too be- loud or some shit. Oh, okay. blue Because they were fucking with like switches turning off and on the speakers. I think mm. something popped. And then because oh. the next time playing around, it felt like a lot quieter. Wow! Right, so, right. So, so the DJ fucked up. Damn. Yeah, you might have to my, check their their audio, dog. <laughs> yeah, my boy came out and was like, "Yo, trying to flip switches and shit." So, was like, <laughs> you know, that's what that's what friends are for, yeah, man. Yeah, you gotta a, try a, to help. Yeah, it's a yeah. good wingman. You know what I mean? Yeah, dog. Get right into it, bro. You gotta be a great wingman, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Wingmen are underrated, man. Good wingmen are underrated, bro. Yeah, for sure. sure. You know the ones that will help you complete that mission. They want to see you succeed. That's they want to see bro. you dig in that vagina. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they want to see you do sure, it. They want to see you balls deep, right? Yeah. Balls deep, dog. They, they want to see you complete the fucking mission. So that's what the fuck we did last night, bro. I was out there. I was chilling with my boy, Kane. Round of applause to the gentleman. You know what I mean? Hopefully he completed. I haven't asked him yet, but oh. I know I know he did. I know he did in my heart. I don't know. I feel like you would have texted your boy. Yeah. 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 Oh, this was a, oh, if he did it, bro, I'd be so upset, but... But yeah, nah, bro. Don't get it your was hopes up. yeah, nah, nah, <laughs> nah. We made him feel like a bo- like he had bodyguards and shit like that. You know what I mean? Nah, these are professional wingmen. These yeah. are wingmen you hire, bitch. Yeah. They, they dressed up. They fucking stood by his side twelve hours straight like a real shift, bro. And it was crazy. The <laughs> night ended up like starting out really, really good. You know, we got there, we got our first round. The guy next to us, he fucking like, you know that furry fucking coat I had that looks like I've killed a bear. <laughs> And I fucking well, I was wearing it. Not so long. Got my mind going crazy. Yeah, bro. (laughs) I had a coat that was like it looked like fucking fur. And this guy next to me was like touching me, bro. It was weird, bro. I was about to punch him in his face, bro. And you could, yeah, he was like, he's like like, touching you or stroking you. No, he was kind of like he was kind of stroking me in a way. He's like, he's like, nice bear. Like this is a bear, bro. Like he was just drunk, and I'm like, bro, like. Definitely I get it. On you, bro. Don't touch me again. Nah, bro. You know what I mean? And then you ever seen going back to the Greek? Going back to the Greek. Going back to the Greek. Nah. That was a movie. But there's a fur wall. <laughs> no. Go on, go okay. on. <laughs> no, I'm scared. Nah. nah, bro. But his friend that, that was with him, he saw that I was getting bothered. I was just like, uh, bro, touch me again, I'll punch you in your face. <laughs> I gave him that face, you know? And he actually he actually bought the first round for us. He's like, Hey man, you know, I appreciate you being cool, man. You're awesome. Yeah, I appreciate man. you not beating my friend up. Here's a fucking yeah. shot. So <laughs> yeah, so I fucking I took it and we fucking left and it was a good time, man. So Hopefully complete the mission. If not, I'll be very disappointed. Just know that having a wingman is very important, bro. And there's not a lot of people that really want to help you out like that. That's the That's main fact. point sure. of the story That's that I want to get, get to. Is or like, that know how to maneuver in that situation. Yeah. Sure. Like how to take the friend that's bothering y'all and take her over there for a little... You know what I'm saying? Like, there's right. certain little things that go on sometimes where it's like, hey, come... Like, you got to take... You yeah. gotta take the hit Like look yeah. Come over here Chill with me So they can do their You know what I mean Like right. yeah, we There's hop- certain things That go on bro yeah, We hopped in his truck And shit You know you gotta Make him make him look good man I was like Oh man this truck bro This truck is nice Bro my boy got the you leather You open the door for him You open the door for him <laughs> Yo my boy got the leather Interior bro Like it It was cool man Like and Nah I, good for him man yeah, Hopefully bro. he completed the mission bro Cause if not That's That's, that's unfortunate Yeah I'm kind of invested <laughs> I hope so too man <laughs> I'm investing in the story now. I want to know. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. I don't know, man. She works for Disney. She ended up. She's a cool girl. She's like in an internship or whatnot, and gotta um, watch out for those Disney. Yeah, girls, yeah. she says she hates it. Like she doesn't. <laughs> all her friends are like into Disney and shit, and she's not. I'm like, wow. It sounds like you're wow. in the wrong internship. That's crazy. But, hey, you should you probably think, do girl? something else. Nah, you should probably do something else. She's from Cali. Cali, Cali makes man. sense. Yeah, kind of makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> 
Chico University. I'm putting our old business out there. Chico. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you know about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just put her fucking address up here too. Yeah, for real. Swear to God, bro. Yeah. Now, nah, but there's not a lot of friends that you. That you have like that, man. You yeah, no, nah, I mean? like, exactly. It, that comes down to just real friendship, bro. It comes down to just, you know what I'm saying, being a real friend and just being like, listen, man, tonight is about my boy. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get him right. He's going through a tough time, whatever it is. Right. Yeah. Let's get it, man. Come on. We out. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? And I told him, bro, I was just like, bro, don't get back with that girl, bro. You're so young. You're 24 years old. We have she so cheated much on time. him or something? No, nah, like she just, she left him. So she, she probably did. For the weekend, Branch. you know what I mean. <laughs> for the weekend, nah, if she that's left them. It, that's it is. So they probably branching, bro. Yeah, yeah, but if she left them, is that cheating? I don't know. We, if you I broke mean, up with a girl and you have sex with a girl the next day, is that cheating? I mean, it's, did you know about the girl before you broke up with her? Like, like, did, like, like, did she know about your girl? No, nah, no. Nah, were you like lining this girl up and you're like, oh, I'm gonna break her up, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, go yeah, do yeah. this thing? Yeah, that's still cheating. I think. Yeah, yeah. And then you're like, hey, that is true. That is true. You, pre- you pre-planned it. Yeah, Yo, yeah. you know what's crazy? Yeah. Women do that mostly. Yeah, like women sure. don't have a guy lined up. Their fucking work husband. Yeah, we don't have them yeah. lined yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> don't have them lined that's up. The truth, though. That's the truth, <laughs> though. Shit. But you know what? Women are way more better at lying. And getting away with it. Listen, man. Yeah. Women sure. women are a different type of animal, bro. Play yeah. with emotions, though. Yeah. That's what it is. They, yeah. hit, they hit it where it hurts. Yeah. They'll so. look you straight in the fucking eye and be like, I didn't fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a fucking lie. Yeah, or like, I don't know him. Or like, come on, Don't man. worry like, about him. You know what? Yeah, he's a yeah, friend. Yeah. Like, he's a I friend of the family. The I, word. Don't, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Small talk <laughs> is cheating. You shouldn't be having no small talk I with somebody. I wouldn't say else. small talk. I'd say like, yeah. Listen, bro. Like not small talk, but like you. You shouldn't you sh- be friends with my girlfriend if you're my boy, and I shouldn't be friends with your girl. Like in the sense of like we're right. texting each other at yeah, fucking yeah. ten thirty at night and yeah, like this just, and that. It's, it's like just nah. If we're around each other, of course we're friends. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. We're all we hang That's out, cool. but like. Oh, I'm gonna go with him to hang out, just us two, and go on a lunch date. Like what? Like shit like that. Some some yeah. women really be like, oh, that's controlling. But yeah. it's like, nah, that's respect. Like, yeah. Would you want me to take your best friend out on a date? Because that's what it is. Right. Whether right. we're just what? meeting up for lunch or not, it's like even if it's no person. business. If it's no business there, bro, it shouldn't be right. past a certain point. You right. know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like the best way to sum it up is like. I only like you because you're my boy's girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. After that, yeah. it's like, like if he breaks up with you, we, we broke up. Yeah, yeah, I don't know you. It's like that's it. Yeah. It's I never like, understood, bro. It. I don't. I don't add my boy's girls on socials. Like none of that shit. Like, yeah. We're not friends. Yeah. I've been friends with your man for 15 years. That's my boy. We right. grew up together. Yeah. But as far as like, uh, like I'm cordial. Hi, how you doing? Thank you. The food was good. Have a good night, guys. We'll right. see you next weekend. But beside that, like. That's we're not rap. friends. Yeah, yeah, it's a rap. <laughs> like, we're not fucking and, friends. And even like, even being in a relationship, not even being the friends part. Just like if I'm in a relationship with a girl, right, and she's out here having this conversations with other men, like that, I don't agree with that. Period. I don't. I don't. I don't think that's that's good. Yeah, bro. That's just how I'm. I don't know. I, I'm like kind of like it depends on the context. Of yeah, it, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. There's like there's like there's that fine line of like oh you you know you're talking to this guy or like you just like. You know, you walk by, you might have said some smart ass shit or mm-hmm. whatever, you know. Because, saying? yeah, there's difference. Like, we can't just expect our partners, men and women, we can't yeah. expect our partners just not to talk to other fucking people, bro. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. You're yeah. going to have to talk on, to yeah. the person at work or the person at the gas station or wherever the fuck you go. Like, you yeah. have to talk to people. Yeah, sometimes. But it's all about the respect. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Exactly, it's all about, yeah. like, keeping it short. Like, do you keep the conversation going? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, because there's that's an amazing. intent behind keeping a conversation going. Right. You right. know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's that's, like, that's, that's the, the best one. way to put it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like, sure. if that you're working beautiful. cool, yeah. workspace, yeah. all right, whatever, we work together, but there's no conversation like outside if, of here. You like, should, if you yeah. need a file, it's in the cabinet. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, real right. shit. Right. Don't be asking my girl. <laughs> don't be asking my girl what she had for lunch. Okay? <laughs> don't worry about it. She eat my fucking dick. <laughs> all right? That's what she had for lunch this morning, motherfucker. No, I'm just playing, man. No, you're this not. Guy no, you're not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, you see the size of this coffee? They gave me like a fucking. My dog's wired, bro. Give <laughs> no, him a half a gallon of coffee. I, just, bro. I paid fucking fourteen dollars for this. No way. I'm not. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah, I'll show you the receipt. And then and then they call me. <laughs> bro, I would have returned that shit. <laughs> I didn't feel like leaving the house. That's how serious I was. I was like, oh, I woke okay, up. That's why I took a shower. I, I wanted to get say. out. My coffee was delivered. I'm gonna have my dog here pull up on me. We gonna chill. 
We yeah. have a good time. And then, you know, one of my tires is kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> the truth comes out, bro. The truth is true. Oh, my dog is coming. Nigga, your car is fucked. <laughs> nah, I got to get new tires, man. It's fucking annoying. It has like a slow leak. <laughs> Yo, those slow leaks are fucked. Bro, it's like, like tires, one of those bro. ones. I hate them. Uh, I hate them. So. It's one of those ones that, like, I don't know, you just got to fill it once a week. You know who filled like what once a right week? Now, right yeah. now, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I'm waiting to find the hole. I'm just going to plug it myself. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, fact. Yeah. That's a fact. I don't think I can find the hole. <laughs> Listen, guys. That's a lot of, you got a lot of problems. <laughs> yeah. <there. laughs> that sounds like a personal problem, dog. Yeah, But bro. you know what's not a personal problem? Oh, God. Is this fucking teacher, man. This teacher... <laughs> this teacher... Let's get into it, John. I can't even say it, bro. Go ahead. Yo, to be honest with you, bro... It's fucked up, man. <laughs> it's fucking nasty, man. Like, you ever had those teachers, like, every Friday, they come around, like, hey, we got cupcakes, homie, man. You know? <laughs> it's fucking Friday. You remember the little pizzas that were, like, a half inch big? Yeah, the little shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Coca-Cola and shit, the flat cola. Yeah, bro. Like yeah, Facts. That bro, shit always was this, flat. This lady's oh, fucking nice. facing, like, 40 years in prison, bro. Good. Because she used her fucking, her husband's sperm and the cupcakes. This was back in 2019, but I mean, now she's finally being charged with it. That's fucked. But I mean, how do you rape. react? That's that's. that's ra- I mean, I'll, it is rape. Is that rape? Nah, I don't nah, consider I don't that know. rape. I'd consider that like, I don't know. I don't even know what the term would be. Your sperm yeah. is in my body. But he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, let's pause that. <laughs> Not, not like that. Literally, like I ate your fucking sperm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> In the cupcake. In the cupcake. Oh, in, in, in the cupcake. Man. Nah, listen, listen. Whatever, guys. That's fucked uh, up. I hope, she, <laughs> I hope she does do some jail time. No, no, do sure. some. She's doing 40 years. I don't, 40 years, man. That's excessive. There's people that kill people and don't get 40 years. That's a fact. Uh, how old were the kids? Uh, they were high school. Believe so. Oh, damn. Yeah. I, they might have deserved. I don't know. See, now it's a different type of. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Some of them might have deserved that shit, dog. Because I know some kids in high school that were assholes, bro. bro I feel like some of them, some of them got pregnant, bro. That's how strong this motherfucking sperm was. Cause are you eating I, the cupcake, bro? Yo, this, was, this was in Louisiana, though. But she admits to lacing the cupcakes with sperm and handing them out to her students. And that's crazy. So that's she's crazy. Up we're making jokes, her. guys, but we don't condone this shit. That's it's, fucking ridiculous. It's her ex husband. I mean, her husband must have fucking left her. What? Yeah, I, I mean, see why her ex husband left. But yeah, she's getting uh, she's getting charged with creating child pornography video and first degree rape. Oh, yeah. so okay. she now has now, multiple yeah, yeah. charges. Now yeah. this kind of made like it. Now it kind of makes more sense. She was doing like child pornography, and then she wanted to yeah. do some more sick shit. Yeah, but that's if you're just like. Here's some cupcakes with sperm in it, and I'd be like, uh, what is wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. still, what is wrong with you either way? Yeah, but like, nah, but that, more context. I don't I don't really trust people when, you know, with food sometimes, you know? <laughs> I had some really bad experiences. Yeah. I don't know about you, brother. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you <laughs> had a lot of bad experiences, dude. <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, like raw chicken and shit like that. Like people not cooking it right. I don't know if you've I been. not cook chicken right yeah. I don't know. It was, it was a weird. <laughs> Isn't that one of those things that looks cooked that is cooked kind nah, of deal? Yeah, like you just got to poke it a little bit. It, mess, it messed me up for a while, dude. It messed me up for a while. Like, I, like everybody would have chicken wings. Oh, yeah. You know how everybody loves chicken wings. And I'll be that guy. Chicken that wings are the shit. Yeah, I just, I stopped eating chicken wings for like four years. Now I'm really back into it. You know? Yeah, really yeah, traumatized, yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It messed me up really, really, really bad. Four years. <laughs> Look what you did to me. <laughs> You know, you know how it goes, bro. Oh, man. Uh, nah, yeah, that teacher, <laughs> that teacher, I hope she goes to jail, bro. I hope she goes to jail. I hope that she fucking learns a lesson. That's some sick shit. Yeah, Guys, watch yeah, out. Yeah, if you're fun. hearing about your kids eating shit from their teachers, watch out. <laughs> you never know, bro. Makes you think about it. Like, you never know. should have, like, got passed. Like, yeah, I'm like, sure that's not no the first time. Yeah. <laughs> like, some shit like that's happened. There's probably been a lot of cases. Maybe one of us. Who knows? You never know. We might have. Because we never, like, <laughs> Wait, maybe no one noticed and they're like wow yeah. Miss Carol like these are really really good I'm What's not gonna that? lie bro some of them lunch ladies looked really miserable dog yeah. <laughs> oh, like, you never know nice. that's nice. <laughs> nah, that I, little shit yeah <laughs> Bro, that was like the worst food I've ever fucking had in my life. But it was good at the same time. I don't know. I kind of miss it. You remember the little cheese sticks? 
Yeah, I remember some of that shit was chicken. lit. The popcorn chicken was fire. Yeah, the, yeah. Some of, yeah, the, yeah, they, yeah, there was. Yeah, you remember that? Nah, there was some orange chicken that was pretty fire too. Oh, remember. the orange, orange chi- chicken. You, bro, he used to eat that shit. Nigga, all the time. You need your orange chicken, man. <laughs> Give me that plate, bro. You yeah. see how big I am? My fat ass needed that. Bro. You gotta leave that there, bro. You really gonna throw that away? Come on, guys. For real. You know those Asian buffets. You know they're not fucking clean. Uh, listen, first oh, of all, dude. I took a quick left. I don't know. <laughs> I just opened up a memory, dude. I remember going to a buffet and they like lift. You know how they like have those like hot plates, whatever they put in. There's like water underneath or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember the lady picked it up and there was a roach. Like a dead roach in there. Fuck I nigga. ran out of there no, so I'm fucking fuck quick, dude. You got to clean those out every night. So if there's a dead roach in there, then that's bad. Yeah, it was, it was <laughs> like gross. I just looked at her and I was like, I'm getting the fuck out. She, she just was like, uh. <laughs> she, she quickly put it back. Like, I didn't just pick them up. Like, We're not going to ignore this. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, nah. yeah. There's been a few Chinese buffets that got closed down, and I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, there was one that <laughs> shit. we used to go to one all the fucking time. We used to go like every fucking Saturday and shit after work or whatever. Was it Joy Love? Nah, it was somewhere in Orange. Yeah, City. it was in Orange. City. I forget. The it's name. a brewery it was now. Years ago. True. Yeah, yeah but that shit was. It, they had some great fucking food, but I don't know why they closed out. Maybe they found a roach. <laughs> <laughs> like roach shit. I don't know. Nah. But listen, man, what's up with this Jeffrey Epstein shit? His boy got found in a fucking prison. Yeah, dead? yeah, yeah. One of his boys in the French prisons, and uh, yeah, he ended up being dead. Just suicide. Did he hang himself too? Yeah, yeah, they is that what they said. Nah, they, yeah. they suicide his ass. They right. suicide his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I get what he's trying to say. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> they fucking murked his ass. They suicided him. Okay. I don't think that's all that works. It's just like suicide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they beat his ass to death. They probably hung him. They probably stabbed him. No. I mean, you got to think about it like this. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> so, <laughs> Quick so, and easy. Some of these guys, bro, are just going to naturally get that. Done to them because they're in prison, bro. You think about it. A lot of guys in prison, they're not with that shit. They might have killed somebody, but they're like, bro, you're doing this little girls? Right. Like, right. I'm going to fuck you up. Yeah, I heard about you. You're Jeffrey's friend, huh? Stat. Bro, pedophiles don't do good in prison, dog. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like, they got raised, they got fucked. Yeah, they're yeah, like, like this guy. Nah, listen. But, nah, I feel like it's all bullshit because they put those, <laughs> <laughs> they put, they put those type of people in protective custody. They watch them. I just feel like for true. a reason, this That's guy true. just ended up being a major key in this case and a lot of people were involved because come on man this guy's dead yeah, and uh, listen this shit I, yeah. I really my honest opinion is this shit's never really gonna get unveiled like no he, we're never really gonna know what happened who was involved there's too much power there's too much money behind this shit bro. right 100 like, 100 presidents and shit ex-presidents you're not they're not i mean trust me bro they're just, gonna do they're gonna do some control like quality control like they're gonna oh, fucking sure, without a doubt they're just gonna mask it over something like or like you said you know call it suicide call it a day bro or yeah. just make Blow it seem like that person over. was involved in something like oh he was already a shady person he was involved in some fucking fraud or something and the then crimes. like it makes it look like oh it could have been Tarnished some criminals name, that did yeah, it like kind of deal yeah but hey man I think it's fucked up, bro. Like yeah. it's fucked up. That's the scary thing about having children, bro. Like I, I don't have kids, but like I could only imagine, like, like the, seeing this shit and nothing's happening and more kids go missing and you know what I'm saying? It's right. just like. And you ever crazy. seen the movie Taken? That kind of put Fuck my yeah. eyes on it major. Oh, like, bro! By the time the second time she got took, I was like, bro, just take the bitch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not coming to get like, what are you no, doing, you're bro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, how many take times? And, and then like the mom went missing. I was like, you might as well just take the dog too. <laughs> Let me just start over. <laughs> God damn, just take them. You know, like, come on, bro. Movies are kind of getting out of control nowadays. They're stretching. They're stretching. Yeah. They're running out of ideas. Yeah. Bro, I stopped uh, watching Fast and Furious after like five. Jesus Christ. When they they're start- in space now, yeah, bro. Like, it's what? Like, what the fuck is going on, bro? Like, they're <laughs> fucking racing Mustangs into space. Like, come on, dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, bro. I don't know. Everybody likes different shit, bro. I was just telling you guys, like, you know, a lot of people don't agree with, you know, my opinion. But who the fuck cares? Because everybody cares? has their own opinion. That's a fact. And you're entitled 100%. to yours, Johnny. Yep. You're you know entitled what I mean? to it's yours. It's like, it's like, you know how you make music? There's some people that are not going to like your music. Yeah, for sure. That's 100%, 100%. a fact. 100%. And there's going to be people that are going to fucking love you. You oh, know what I mean? So, like, I feel like being authentic and being genuine is, like, super, super important when it comes to, like, being an artist, you know? Um, but how long you how long you been making music, you said? 
The end of 2020 was when I dropped my first song. 2020, <laughs> bro. Yeah, so you so and, yeah. right, I'm on my second year. That's all right. I think about That's it. That's good, though, man. You got your own setup. You got your own, like, you're chilling. You found your sound. Yeah. You're confident. You're, you're already performing. Like, that's... Yeah, and you got good music, bro. A lot. I appreciate and you got that, good man. music, bro. Like that. a lot of people it doesn't do sound like you just started to a year and a half, two years ago. Uh, yeah, I get that. That's why I was asking. I was like, bro, I, I thought you had been doing music since you were like a teenager or something. You know what nah, I mean? Like, yeah, that, that's <laughs> dope, bro. Fuck that's yeah, dope. bro. And you went to Miami not too long ago. How was that? Miami was dope. I went to Miami uh, last week just to visit the brother, handle some business. But before that, I had a show. It was in December. I had a show in La Rouge in Miami. Okay. Shout out La Rouge, mm. Miami. Shout out La Rouge. Nice. Um, had a show there. It went pretty dope. It was my first time in the hometown. It wasn't nothing too crazy, but it was like I had to put on for my, you know, where I was born, where I grew up, or right. somewhat grew up at. So it was a good show. It was a good turnout. Fuck yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Man. Met a lot of people, shook a lot of hands, kind of deal. Yeah. Right. Saw right. some titties? <laughs> <laughs> Miami, bro. <Yeah. laughs> you see that shit walking down the street. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Bro. Exactly. I got finesse, bro, when I went to Miami. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I got finesse. Yeah, honey. he got yo, he got finesse for a hundred dollars in two minutes of his life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was a I wanna know. It, it, We went to fucking uh, live, you know, the twenty four hour joint, oh, yeah, yeah. and there was this fucking Russian chick. She's like, "Hey, how are you doing?" <laughs> and I was like, "Good." She's like, "It's your birthday," and I was like, "Yeah." I even brought my mom with me. <laughs> his mom was yeah. with him. Wait, yeah, my mom, my mom was ducking it out that night. For real. Yeah, we were cool and I was standing there like, yo, bro, this shit's chill. Yo, she got <laughs> Yeah, and then she tried charging me for like fucking like three songs. I was like, I was only here for like a minute. <laughs> I, swear like, to God. I didn't even see your tits yet. What are yeah, we talking yeah. about? Jesus. Nah, but it was fun. It was fun. I just feel like the people are assholes and the location is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like superficial, bro. Yeah. yeah. You gotta know who you're yeah. talking to and like you gotta find the spots there. Like when I go over there, it's like there's a lot of areas where it's like tourist traps, bro. You're just blowing mm. money, but there's like equivalent places, just even cooler people or whatever, not superficial for like right. Orlando prices. Yeah. Mm. So it's just about where you, once you get there and you know your spots, it's pretty easy to like figure out, oh, fuck that place or let's right. go for a birthday or something like that. But yeah. yeah. It's one of those places like where like you got to really like it to live there though. Cause a few times I've gone, sure. I was like, I was there for a few days and by like the third day, I was like, it's cool. <laughs> it's a vibe, but yeah. I'm ready to go back. So, you know that. what I mean? Like, yeah. it, you, like if you're not a city type of person, bro, Miami's definitely not for you. At yeah. least, like, certain parts. Yeah, like downtown. But no, yeah. I feel that. Now, when I first started staying over there, I was just like, I fucking hate this place. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, I was like, everyone's a fucking snob, dude. Yeah. Like, everyone's stuck up. And then I, like, after, like, a month, I was like, you know what? It's not too bad once you get to know your way around. So. Right, right. Yeah, it's like I feel like it's it's like that in most places, bro. Like you're gonna have your snobs, you're gonna have your cool people, you're gonna For have sure. your chill spots. You know, that's just how that shit goes. Yeah, we pulled up For in sure. a, we pulled up in a Mozzie too, bro. And uh, yeah, I felt like a piece. Of, I pulled up in my Camaro, bro, and I was like, I'm poor. Yeah, <laughs> like, as soon like, as I pulled, so I thought I was Mazzies. doing something, Dude, bro. I was, was like, bro, there's a there. Bentley, there's a fucking Rolls Royce. Yeah, I just yeah. saw a Lamborghini pull into the same place I'm going. Yeah. I'm not doing the shit. Mazzie was yeah. a shit. Yeah. <laughs> you, drive, you got a Lambo, you're like a, the normal person. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, the normal person, bro. It's different now, bro, man, I, for I sure. I fucking threw up too heavy too. That was a bad weekend. I don't know, man. Yeah, no, nah, you were fucked. I was fucked. Throw up. Yeah, bro, yeah. I passed out on the Happy beach. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you know where, like, the, the I think it was, like, South Beach or, like, you know, the, the main strip and, like, near, like, Versace Mansion and all that, you know, mm -hmm. where everybody's walking and then across the streets, the beach. And, bro, I remember fucking my uncle was, you know, trying to turn up, have a good time, bro. By, by Sunday, I was like, bro, you guys have that. I'm going to go lay down under this palm tree right here bro, on the beach. And I did. Stuck. I yeah. fucking sat down there. I just fucking went to sleep. I woke up, bro. There was a fucking Jamaican guy. He's like, hey, man, you, you had a good night, mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, man. He was like, that's good, man. And I was just like, yeah, <laughs> Give bro. Give me five dollars. <laughs> I was like, you got to help me out? Exactly. So, like, I was just like, nah, it's my birthday, man. He's like, ah, oh, you had a good birthday, huh? Yeah, Give, me five five dollars. Birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Give me five dollars. Give me five dollars. He said, shit. <laughs> Nah, bro. Oh, I fucking, bro. I hate those people, bro. Yeah, nah. Miami's a vibe, though. Like I said, it's a vibe. It's just, like you said, it's probably just where you go. I don't know too much about it. I'll go down there again, though, and just fucking, you know. The food, is, the food is amazing. Oh, no, oh, the food was great. great. That, yeah. The food was fucking great. That yeah. restaurant we went to. Bro. It was some Italian restaurant. I forget. 
what is called, but bro. that was the best chicken Alfredo he made from scratch. Bro, that nigga made that. I saw him like cut the chicken up, bro. Like I was like, this like, nigga's <laughs> really making this shit from scratch, no, bro. Like, he was excited to make it because he's like, man, finally somebody that doesn't want pizza. Yeah, I was like, fuck, fuck a pizza. Give me your pasta, bro. Yeah, what's up with your pasta? Yeah, yeah, what's up with that? You good? And he's just like, yeah, man. Yeah, welcome, man. Yeah, maybe the bobby. Nah, but <laughs> it's a bobby, bro. Yeah, eat it, eat it, you motherfucker. <laughs> My head. Oh, man. But listen, guys, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go down in the description. Check out our boy over here. He got some fucking fire. And listen, man, once again, we appreciate you. And tell somebody you love them. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.